Hi guys, uh, welcome to the next video of the RESTful tutorial series. In this video, we'll see how to pass some parameters to the web service call and how to access those parameters from our web service code. There are different types of parameters like URI path parameters, query parameters, form parameters, HTTP request parameters or cookie parameters. First check the URI path parameters. Now these are the parameters that are part of the URI itself. Let's understand this by an example. Suppose we want to get some information about one user and suppose the URI for that web service method which gives th this info is slash user slash service and slash get this get user method. Now what we want to do is pass one user ID to this URL and based on that user ID the information would, would be pulled out. Now this we can do using query parameters which we'll see a little later but there is one more way we can do this is by using URI path parameters. In the URI itself we can pass the user ID as slash user slash service slash get and suppose the user ID is Ratnesh, so slash Ratnesh. So this is the varying part and this is called URI path parameter while this part till here is fixed and it takes us to the get user method. Now the question is how to accept this extra part of the URI from our web service code for that what we need to do is specify one placeholder here in curly braces I'll give it as user ID and then to obtain the value of this placeholder we need to annotate one of our parameters so let's have one parameter here we can annotate it using path param and give the placeholders name here give one sys out Let's build this project. Okay, well, let's hit this. Okay, so we are able to extract this parameter from the URL from our web service code using this placeholder and this at the rate path param annotation. Now let's check the uh, query parameters, how to extract the values of the query parameters. Now for that we need to use the at the rate query param annotation. So let's have one parameter here Annotate it with query param. So this is the parameter we'll pass it here from the URL. Suppose I'll give the first name also as Ritnesh. give it some other name such an let's have one sys out for this build this project
okay now let's hit the CRL okay so user ID is Atnish which is this URI param and first name is Sachin which is being passed from the query parameters so we are able to extract both the URI param and the query param now let's check the HTTP request header parameter uh, we have one uh, header parameter called host which corresponds to the host name of the client let's try to get that uh, host name so for that let's add one more parameter here client name header param parameter name is host let's have one sysort for this build the project Okay, now let's set this URL. Okay, so we are able to get the host value also. It is localhost colon eighty eighty. So all the three are tested now: the URI path param, the query param, and the header param. Now let's test the form parameters. For that, what we'll do? We'll use our client code, which we uh, wrote in the last video. From this client code, we'll uh, make a call to our post post method. So we have a method here, update user, which corresponds to the slash post. So we'll try to hit this method and uh, and get those form parameters. For that, let's change this URL as post. Now, in this client project, I have a client project. Here, I have a client.jsp. In this JSP, I have two fields one name, one email. Both I am getting in this servlet. So, when we hit this uh, JSP, when we hit the submit button in the JSP, and it actually triggers this client servlet. So in the do post method, I have extracted the username and email in uh, these two fields. We'll try to use these two fields, try to pass this to our uh, post web service. Now for this, what we have to do, we have to create one form object. I'll use this username and here we'll call this post method and pass the form object to it. So instead of uh, directly hitting the, the form uh, to our web service, what I'm doing from JSP, I'm coming to servlet and from servlet I am using the Java client code to hit the web service. Now for this then we need to use this form object and pass this to this post method and then this form object will be passed to our uh, update user method here. So we need to extract that using at the rate form param.
let's have one sysout for this username okay so we are hitting this post we are passing this form object to this post method so we should be able to come here and we should be able to get the username passed to this parameter and get the log statement let's test this out let's build this client project also Okay, now refresh this JSP. Keep the username as Ratnesh email. We are not using it. Okay, so we are able to get the username from the JSP to the servlet and then from this code to our user user services class okay uh, now let's test the cookie param for this we'll pass one cookie object here we'll use this email email parameter this one we set it to the email cookie This is just for our testing purpose. We'll set this cookie. We'll pass the cookie here in the cookie method. And then extract that cookie. From another parameter. Using cookie param. Annotation. I want to sort for this. Build both the projects. Now give the username and email here. Username will be passed in the form parameter while this email will be passed as a cookie param. Okay. So we are able to get both the username and the email. So we are able to test the form param as well as the cookie param. So this is it for this video. We will see some more stuff about the RESTful web service in the next video. Keep watching.